is Shannon from the Grace Lake Area Public Library's Makerspace, The Hub. Welcome to our Maker Monday program. Today, we're going to be making multicolor slime. For Memorial Day, we're going to make it red, white, and blue, but you can make this whatever color you'd like. Let's get started. Let's go over the different items that we'll need for this craft. First, we'll need a large mixing bowl and some measuring spoons as well as a stirring utensil. I'm just using this stick because I have it on hand, but feel free to use a larger spoon. We'll also need a measuring cup that can measure about four ounces. And then I have some food colorings here, which are optional, but this helps make the slime really fun and colorful. I have some glitters of various colors. So for this one, I'm doing red, white, and blue and I also have some silver. Then we'll need some clear glue. I have this Elmer's clear glue, um, but you can use Elmer's white glue or glitter glue. You just need four ounces per batch. And then we need some baking soda and saline solution. The saline solution or contact solution needs to have the ingredient of boric acid. This is the key ingredient for the slime. All right, when you're ready to get started, go ahead and measure four ounces of glue into a measuring cup and then pour it into the mixing bowl. If you want, you can just purchase a four ounce container of glue and dump that whole thing into the mixing bowl. But since I have this giant bottle, I'm going to measure out four ounces and then pour. Once you get as much of the glue as you can out of that bottle or the measuring cup, we're going to add in the baking soda. For four ounces of glue, we're going to add one and a half teaspoons. So go ahead and measure one and a half teaspoons of baking soda straight into the bowl. and then we'll go ahead and give it a good stir. When you're stirring, make sure to try to break up any clumps of baking soda and get it as well combined as possible. Once everything is pretty well combined and there are no major clumps, we're going to add some food coloring. So we'll start with blue. We're just going to add a couple of drops to start but you can continue to add more to get it to the color that you'd like. Once you've added all the drops, make sure to stir until it's well combined. And then we're going to add some glitter. So I'm going to just add some blue glitter. Again, this is optional. Once you mix that together, we're going to add in the contact solution. Now we're going to use about a tablespoon of contact solution. So go ahead and measure that out and then pour it straight into the bowl. Once you do, you'll notice pretty quickly how the slime begins to change. It starts to clump together and become one form. So you're going to stir to try to get as much of that contact solution combined with all of the slime. And that will make it less sticky and allow you to combine it all together. Then you'll sort of take it out of the bowl and knead it on a flat surface with your hands. And this just makes sure that the contact solution gets incorporated and pretty shortly you'll see that you'll be able to stretch the slime and play with it without it sticking to everything. If it's still too sticky after a minute or two of kneading, you can add some more contact solution to it. But otherwise, you should be done with this color of slime. So go ahead and set that aside. We're going to repeat the same process again, this time using red food coloring and glitter since we're making a red, white, and blue slime. 
and kids can certainly help make this slime, but it is important to note that contact solution is not safe to eat. However old your kids are, just make sure that you're able to keep an eye on them and supervise them while they're playing with the slime. Lastly, we'll do one more batch, but this time we're not going to add any food coloring and the baking soda itself keeps the glue mixture white. We are, however, going to add some silver and white glitter so that we still have that sparkle. So now we have three different colors of slime, red, white, and blue, and you can have your kids play with them separately or they could even combine them all together to make a fun layered slime. Thank you for joining our Maker Monday DIY Multicolor Slime Program. We hope to see you soon at the library.